So hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how to do the warp zoom out effect in Premiere Pro. The plugins you need are Sapphire and also RSMB, but RSMB is completely optional for motion blur. So to get started, you want to have two clips ready, I've got mine right here. I'm going to search for the warp transform effect and drag it onto my first clip. From in between the two clips, you want to head over to the left seven times, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Click on the stopwatch to keyframe the Z disk, and then head six keyframes right, so it should be one keyframe frame before the middle and you want to set it to 1.8. Set the wrap x and y to reflect. We are now going to graph this so click on the arrow and then just pull this handle towards the right. So not too high or too low just about there and as you can see it curves smoothly. Next up you want to add the warp fisheye effect onto the first clip. You then want to head 7 keyframes back just like what we did with the other effect. Click on the stopwatch for the amount and set it to 0. Then head to the end just one keyframe back so not in the middle and you want to set the amount to negative 0.40. Once again we're going to graph this, click on the arrow, just pull it to the right and you've got a smooth graph so it should look like this so far. For the second clip I'm going to add a basic scale out so I'm going to set the beginning to 200 and then 100 at the end and just click on the arrow and then just pull this to the left right about there and then let go. So now I've got a smooth zoom out. Now I'm going to add the warp fisheye effect once again, keyframe the amount to negative 0.75, head towards the end and then set it back to zero. I would not recommend graphing it this time so just leave it as it is. If it looks really odd then you can but for me as you can see it looks really good. So now if I play it back you can see I've got this warp fisheye effect. This part is optional but if you want to you can add an adjustment layer on top and then add the the RSMB Pro effect, set the amount to 0.35 and it should be smoother than before. So yeah, that's all you need to do. Thank you for watching, have a great day and I will see you next time. So yeah, peace.